In this video, I want to show you how you can keep all your files and projects organized with Google Drive. Now, some of you may have tried Google Drive uh, for various projects, or maybe someone's sent you a link to Google Drive in the past and you've kind of gone in, downloaded a few files or put a few files in, um, or maybe you used uh, Google uh, Docs or Google Sheets to edit something before. But for our business, we've actually set up um, a whole system where we manage every single project through Google Drive. And we do this so that um, it essentially lets anyone on the team access every file they need to in one place. And so we try not, every anytime we're working on files, we never work on files locally on our computer, meaning we save something to the desktop and we work on a design file, or we work on a Word doc on our own computer. It's just too risky, especially, and there's no need to do that with uh, the amount of synchronization tools and the way you can integrate with the cloud. So what we recommend is we work out of Google Drive um, on our computers. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to set that up and give you some more details on how to have a really good, simple workflow with Google Drive. So we'll jump in here to um, the software, just a little bit of an overview. Um, this uh, Google Cloud um, is now called it's a G Suite. So um, they do have some pretty affordable options, but I highly recommend the business tier right here. Um, and what you'll see, what you get with this is unlimited cloud storage. Yeah, that means there's absolutely no limit to how much uh, content you save. That's why we just put every single file in our business in Google Drive, whether it's large, you know, multi gigabyte videos, or it's just a simple uh, funnel design, we put everything in Drive because it's unlimited storage, and um, essentially, you you know, it, it's it's no reason not to have it up there. So you get all this these you know access to Gmail, Calendar, all that stuff, of course, um, as your business. And this means that you can actually point your domain uh, to to this, to, so that you can have like, I have Bruce at Anovo.io. Um, that is my actual uh, Google Suite email. So um, it lets you have that. You know, it's not your clients will never see the Gmail or you know at Gmail or whatever domain. So it just looks a little bit more professional. Pretty easy to set it up um, with your domain provider. But anyway, into the files um, we'll go. So let's jump over to um, our actual drive. I'm just going to kind of show you how we have it set up. So these shared drives are different than your My Drive. So previously, you've probably used My Drive um, a lot. So you put files in. You store them, and they're kind of just your own personal drive. What a shared drive does is it actually lets you share it amongst your team or a specific uh, set of people. And when you share this drive with someone, they get access to every folder, every file, everything inside of that drive. So it's very helpful. So we have something called um, Innova Workspace. So every project that's currently open right now, we have that as a folder. And so you can dive into each project, each client um, from this workspace. We also work um, with an extended team through agency support. And so we have um, all the file uh, folders here for every project moving forward. Um, one little tip I'll show you is we create this website um, in a project template. And we have this thing called copy this folder. So if you duplicate this folder, it builds out all the subfolders that you need. So we kind of had this master um, template folder. We duplicate it, and it's got a folder for meetings. So we put all our Zoom calls in there. Um, we have uh, a folder for design files, for copy files, anything we've received from the client. Um, so it's very, very powerful and it keeps everything really nicely organized without having to spend a lot of time. And I find when you start a project with folders like this, every you and everyone on your team will kind of figure out the system as you go rather than just starting to organize as you go. That's sort of the worst way to do that. So in here, you can see that I've actually, you can add members and I can add any number of people to this folder. And that way, when you're working with teams consistently, you can just send them a Google Doc, you can send them a Google Sheet, um, uh, any kind of file in there, and they will have access to it. If they're in the drive, they'll have access to everything in there. So um, now the uh, Google support, I mean, the uh, Google uh, team drives here, um, this is where you have the unlimited space. So you, there's really no limit to this, um, these drives as, as far as how much you can store in there. Um, there's a whole bunch of technical things we could get into about how um, permissions work and why you should use team drives. 
essentially just if you're a business and you're sharing folders and files with people, it's much better to do the team drive because it means the business actually owns all the files, not the individual. So if I go to my drive, you'll see that the owner over here is actually me as Bruce, or, and you'll see some things, if there's someone I shared a folder with, there's someone else that shared some things. So I don't actually own this folder, um, but I do have access to it, but I don't own it. Whereas if this, um, this developer had dropped in um, the file into a team drive, it automatically makes my company own the file, which means I can do anything I want to with it in the future. So it's just a, a long-term kind of setup. I highly recommend using um, Google Drive for your um, file management. And the other thing I would recommend is to go in and install um, the Google File Stream. So I'll just search for that real quick, Google File Stream. Um, and this is an app that sits on your PC or your Mac and um, essentially syncs all the files um, from the cloud down to your computer. And so if I open this up, I'll show you that this um, folder right here looks identical to um, that. So if I go to Share Drives here, let me close this, um, you'll be able to see um, all those drives that I was just showing you. There's the workspace, there's the uh, agency support, and all my files are right here and I can work on any of them. So I can save stuff, update it, and as my team changes files in here, it just syncs with my computer um, in real time. So definitely I would only use Google Drive with file stream. Do not download and upload stuff through the browser. That's kind of the worst way to use Google Drive. Um, get Google file stream set up um, and it will make your life a whole lot easier. So hope that helps and that gives you a, a great tool to use as you uh, continue to grow your business and just accumulate lots of projects, just store everything with Google Drive and you'll save yourself a whole lot of headache.